After one of the most eagerly anticipated U.S. congressional hearings in years, former FBI Director James Comey says the Trump administration had lied and defamed him and the FBI after the president fired him last month. With more on this and other news around the world, we turn to our Noir Amara. Mr. Comey gave us a preview of what he is going to say during Thursday's hearing a day before, which included accusations that President Trump tried to undermine the FBI investigation into the possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. What else was said during the hearing? Well, Jia, during more than two hours of testimony, Comey told the Senate Intelligence Committee that he was confused as to why he was sacked as there were differing reasons coming out of the White House. So it confused me when I saw on television the president saying that he actually fired me because of the Russia investigation and learned again from the media that he was telling privately other parties that my firing had relieved great pressure on the Russia investigation. I was also confused by the initial explanation that was offered publicly that I was fired because of the decisions I had made during the election year. That didn't make sense to me for a whole bunch of reasons, including the time and all the water that had gone under the bridge since those hard decisions that had to be made. He also told the panel that the White House tried to defame him and the FBI with lies. And although the law required no reason at all to fire an FBI director, the administration then chose to defame me and more importantly the FBI by saying that the organization was in disarray, that it was poorly led, that the workforce had lost confidence in its leader. Those were lies, plain and simple. He also said that he believed Mr. Trump had directed him to drop an FBI probe into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's ties to Moscow. However, Comey did not say whether this amounted to obstruction of, just, obstruction of justice, something many Trump critics are suggesting. Trump's personal lawyer, Mark Kazowitz, told reporters that the president did not tell Comey to drop the probe into Flynn. The attorney also said Comey's testimony proved the president was not under any investigation in the Russia inquiry and denied Comey's claims that Mr. Trump asked for the ex-FBI chief's loyalty. Although there were no major new revelations during Thursday's hearing and many of what Comey said was expected, it still packs a powerful punch to the Trump administration that has been dogged by the alleged Russian collusion for months.